apron. I would never be able to eat my child. One of our neighbors came home when her husband, suffering from severe starvation, ate their own baby daughter. This woman went crazy. Another neighbor wrote a petition to the authorities, and here's just a paragraph from that, said, Please return the grain that you've confiscated from me. If you don't return it, I'll die. I'm 78 years old and I'm incapable of searching for food for myself. And of course, nobody cared. In a crisis, it's everyone for himself. Although in many cases, families did still remain families. But just after the winter, when there's absolutely nothing to eat, my grandfather, together with his mother, went to the nearest town where the government had established a soup kitchen. Unfortunately, the 25-mile journey was too much for his mother. After just five miles, she couldn't walk anymore. My grandfather noted,